Uh, this pawn chain game really illustrates the importance of a good solid structure and controlling the files as they open. So <clears throat> it's this um, D pawn opening, which I hate so much. I just use the knight. And then I like to do a lot of blocking. I like to try and make it a, quite a closed game if it's going to be a deep one opening because otherwise it can be a bit too aggressive for my taste. Just trying to make it put the ball back in White's court here and make him do some, you know, some weakening moves like that pawn move. You know, he doesn't really want the pawn on that square. His bishop, you know, his bishop's not able to move so much around now. Just taken one more Check. square away from that bishop. And then Check. just free development here. Again, just I'm just developing see this nice chain here pretty much for free. And you can see white structure is really pretty rubbish now. Because he's trying to pick a fight and I'm I'm just not having it. I'm just solidly Inside castle in. Building my Queen structure. Queenside castle in. Only really focusing on building a structure. I'm not focusing, if you look up to that point, at all on attack. So, just going back. Nothing I'm doing is attacking. Well, I mean, I'm uh, pinning, but that's that's a positional move. Um, he parries. And, you know, again, the Queen defending. Um, that's just an exchange. Really just challenging these black Check. squares and I uh, hoping he wouldn't take. Again, parry, Check. trade, trade, accepted again. You know, he's the one doing all this taking. I'm just moving things out of the way. And then finally, some aggression from me, but only because I'm trying to form this chain. Oh, he gave me his queen. Do you know what? I didn't even see that. <laughs> he was so focused on the knight that he'd not really seen that uh, he'd given me his queen, but nor had I. So uh, extraordinary, that would have won the game immediately. The things you don't see. Again, like I just said, I was focusing entirely on structure and defence. So it just goes to show, you put your mind in one place and it's not always entirely where in the other places. You know, you... you you put your mind in one place at the expense of putting it in other places. So, yes, it's good not to be trying to attack, attack, attack when, you've, when you're coming up against something as strong as the D-pawn opening. But at the same time, one must look for these openings. You know, that was a real, no you know, how could I miss that? He recaptures with the queen. Uh, preserving his pawn is a little bit more than otherwise would, would, but you can still see his pawn side castle in. It's still not that good. Queen side castle in. And then, you know, I think too many people have watched these famous chess games where one castles queen side, one castles king side, and then we all advance our pawn. It's so tired that thinking. It's such an assumption, and they do it even when, as you can see here, the structure does not warrant it. Look at my pawn chain; it is practically pointing at where he shouldn't castle and he's castled there so yeah he can advance his raggedy bunch of pawns but i mean look at mine and i've got one file open now with my rook in it check and a check because he's queen side he's not you know he's not as close enough to the he, he to defend against it Perhaps should have moved his king over one square so that he couldn't be checked like that. And then we get this. And then we get, obviously, threatening to win the queen. Defends with the rook. Now his rook and his queen are tied up. And now, as you see, I have now, you know, I'm controlling two files pretty much. And now I'm pretty much controlling a third. King runs. Just... You know, giving that rook, um, releasing it from the queen's grip. Because I hadn't seen that I actually, that rook was en prise there, as you see. When I took that pawn, it was not en prise because the queen was guarding it. Check. 
But then I forgot all about the Queen guarding it and moved her here. And he presumably forgot about it as well. So it was on prees on this move here. And he could have just taken that with impunity. But instead his king was running and I and I got the got the rook to safety. It was only one. But of course this now threatening to move the rook in front of his queen and, and win it. So he can't have that. No point in moving it onto that square yet. My queen's on the wrong colour for challenging the king, but I need to move her up before I can get her onto a decent white square. And now she's on there and the king's going to run. But look, once again, I could have forced the exchange of queens here, but I didn't want to. I thought something better might come along if I just would be patient. Um, again, so it is a bit complex, this. Um, moving over here, um, thinking of advancing pawns. When he comes here... What I don't want is his other rook to come to that file and there to be a revealed check on my queen as I attempt to recapture the rook with the pawn. So the queen's got to come here to, to, to protect that rook properly. The other rook he's got there can't really move at the moment. Otherwise the pawn's going to fall. Um... I mean, I was looking at already uh, this move now, already thinking of doing this. You know, what's going to happen? How's it going to work? Right. I mean, I don't, I don't know how he would have done it. I mean, I think it probably, it's probably quite good for me. But I'm not sure. I just didn't like the idea that it, it opens up some that route down towards my king now on the end. So we moved, uh, just creating this, I don't want to get back ranked at some point, and I feel that black square is probably going to be pretty safe for my king, because it's blocked by their own pawn. And I ignored all these advances, and I decided to just take that pawn, as I, as I showed in the previous thing, because I figured that I've got checks in there with the recaptures that are going to mess up the calculus for white. He takes... I recapture you. Now you see the queen. She's she's in danger. She mustn't run to the king's rank. Because then I'll win her. So he makes a good move here. Check. But still, check. King's got to run. Well, he hasn't got to, but he does. And the queen comes up here. Why? Because... Now that offers my queen potentially to be able to slide across somehow at some point. Especially as he advances these pawns, it's going to open up more space for my queen to get across there, I'm hoping. And uh, chuck that across because then there's... Immediate threat now is a2 check on the king will win the queen. So he's got to move it. And then I thought, well, that's not going to work anyway, so let's grab the empty file. I want control of these files. And all he's got left without control of the files is trying to break through my formidable pawn chain. And I totally ignore it and just advance this pawn here, which I thought was rather a nice move. He can't now threaten my queen with his rook. You know, he can't do this. Um, his queen has to move. And it's just, yeah, it's not looking very good for him. Moves her out of the way, but she's still in front of the queen. In front of the king, I should say. Uh, what other option did he have? I suppose he could have gone maybe here. That's the only other square he could have actually guarded that rook from. So, he moves back there. Uh, just, you know, defending the... Check. Pieces with each other, and then he breaks through at the bottom. King captures. Check. Revealed. So that's why he chose Check. that square for his queen. He was using that retreat as an opportunity to move onto his attack square secretly while in the guise of retreating. So he'd probably been waiting for that pawn move. You know? So all of this, and then suddenly. My pawn move, going, oh, at last I can pretend to escape this square. Because it does look an odd square, doesn't it? I mean, I I think it makes more sense 
to move to this square retreating. So that kind of show proves that he'd had that planned. And you can see the pawns line up for the breakthrough. And I, to be honest, I was totally ignoring them. Check. So the king comes through, revealed check, bang. Check. And she's check. going to chase me around the board a little bit. Check. Check. But check. it's not that bad because he hasn't got the pawn structure to, to, to box me in. So that just shows you the importance of pawn structure. Check. She's got this. Check. Check. And once the king's in the corner, check. There's not much he can do. Check. I can force the exchange. Check. And the game is over. So, very instructive game about um, pawn structure.